before we get started with any electrical, you're gonna always wanna unplug the battery. I'm changing the air free sensor. This is gonna help save some gas, especially in times like right now. Super easy, we got the electrical port right here, and then we got the sensor right here at the bottom. And all you need is just a sensor wrench removal, 22 millimeters. It has a little cut right here for the wires to get in. So what I'm gonna do first is remove the clip. All I gotta do is clip it from inside right here, clip it up, right up, and then you pull that out. Comes out like that. And then we're gonna use our sensor wrench and pop it in like so. Not much leverage here guys, so at least you guys can see where I'm going. All right, so I was able to twist it down to loosen it up. So once you have that loosened up, you just untie it with your hands. It's not much leverage in here, so. All right, and here it is. Ooh, look at that, super dirty. All right, so I got a Denso fill sensor because this is a actually a Japanese transport. You want to get Bosch? Check, let's check it out. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's brand new. So check that out. Ooh, this one. See the difference? That thing got burnt up. Ooh. Oh, nice. This one even came with anti seize on it, so that's great. I'm just gonna do a reverse installation. Like this. Alright, so check that out. Turn this big in. Save some gas, guys. Hard to see, it's not much leverage, but you guys will get the idea. You guys see where it is. Alright, it's nice in there. Nice and hand tight in there. I'm gonna spray these electrical ports. Electric cleaner. Spray that in there. Spray that one. Let it dry out a little bit. Alright, let's get that. Let's tie this up. Well, it was super easy. That's it. Put that hand tying in there. 